Hello from Wandering Wanda, I'm Marielle, and today we are at Bear Lake Trailside KOA Journey. Uh, Bear Lake is huge! Oh my god, this is in Utah, the Wy Utah Wyoming side, and you can barely see the lake down there. It's humongous! It goes all the way over there, and goes all the way over there. Wow! So I'm here for three nights, that's today, tomorrow, tomorrow, I leave the following day. So today I have to go to, I need a sponge, <laughs> of all the things I ran out of, sponge. Okay, we are at space 33, they are, it's called the buddy site, this is actually the first buddy site I've actually liked. So, my front door and this trailer's front door, we share this common area here. However, on the utility side, utilities are back to back. So, there's actually an ample amount of green space between that site and my site. So, it's not quite a buddy buddy site, but I like the ample room that they give you here. So 50 amps, water in, water out. And we are doing laundry right now. We're pretty level left and right. However, front, back, the back, is all right at the front you can see the the stabilizer jack is almost to its limit we were not pushing it too much I do have the Starlink pull up but I need to get a wedgie thing because the base isn't that stable so I'm gonna get stuff down there to wedge it. Some wooden stuff. I'm gonna go to Ace and get sponge and those wedgy things. So I can put Starlink up. Now north is that direction. So far I do like this KOA park. It's nice and clean. I've seen one piece of dirt, one piece of dirt, and I'll pick that up. That's about it. The rest are leaves, leaves and twigs. So they keep a good, clean park here. It's so nice that when you come in, you're not picking a whole bunch of trash up, spending 15, 20 minutes. So I do appreciate the clean park. And would I stay here again? The answer would be yes. Only because even though it's a back-to-back -back utility site, there's enough room here. Even if this other person has a slide, there's still enough room where they're not inches away from you. I've stayed in one park down in Utah near Provo where they were inches away from me. It was horrible. Anyway, not this park. This park is good. So we're going to go explore the area a little bit. It's a beautiful area. If you've never been, a, I've undiscovered area of Utah here. Bear Lake. Who knew? I am visiting one national park. That's why I'm here. I don't remember. I'm sure it'll be part of this vlog. Today we are at Fossil Butte National Monument in Wyoming. This 50 million year old lake bed 
is one of the richest fossil localities in the world. Recorded in limestone are, are dynamic and complete filio ecosystems. Ooh, that's a hard one to say. Filio ecosystem that has spanned two million years. Preservation is so complete that it allows for detailed study of climate change and its effect on biological communities. Based upon stromatolites and some other things to make a connection between Lake Goshen which is in the Greater Green River Basin, north of the Uintas, uh, and possibly uh, Here at Fossil Butte, they do have RV parking, but it's really short. So if I were to bring Wanda here, I would not be able to park. I would be blocking this whole row right here. So like this little Jeep and I don't even know what you call it. So if you've got a little trailer or a short trailer, you could probably fit here. But with the truck and the Airstream, it would not fit here. There's no way. Okay, being up here in the mountaintop, the smell of all the flower, wildflowers in bloom right now is fabulous. And so is the view. 